Okay guys, so uh, today we're going to be working on a tandem helicopter rotor system for helicopters like these, so let's go. Okay, so uh, first what we're going to do is let's just build up a helicopter kind of base. Um, this will be quite simple. So I'm just going to get a, a medium engine. I'm going to pipe this up as quickly as possible. Um, so that can get through to this actual rubber as soon as possible. So I'll just put my exhaust there. I'll put my board like that. Oh gosh. Out there. Oh. There we go. Now I could have put it there, but in mind. Um, I'll put a fuel tank in front. There we go. Okay, and now we just have to put in our rotors. So, oh, obviously, um, grab compact pilot seat, and I'm gonna grab a. Battery. Oh, I don't need it that big. Grab a battery. Grab a throttle lever. For our engine. We'll connect our electricity. I'll just set one to that. Um, we'll get a gyro. Okay, so. I'm gonna just put my I'm gonna put my gyro underneath. Um, let's make some basic landing gear. There we go. So there's our there's our base helicopter. Um, so once we've oh I should probably connect electricity to that. Um, I'll just first we'll want to connect our outputs so we have. Our A and D, so that will go to our roll. WS will go to our pitch. Got our up down, that can go to our up down. Got our left right, and go to our yaw. Obviously, you can change that around, but that's just how the kind of standard is. Okay, so let's make a microcontroller. Um, I'm going to call this test tandem. You could call it whatever you want. Uh, you could call it dual rotor. Uh, you could call it whatever. Um, it's quite simple actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our roll input. So that's going to be coming from our gyro. We'll just write that in. We can get our your input. That's also going to come from our gyro. We've got our front roll, so to prop, or to rotor rather, and then we have our rear roll. Oh gosh, <laughs> rear roll to Okay, um, I'm just going to make a symbol, I'll do, I don't know, I'll do just something really, I'll do a really basic pattern because that's nice and cool, I don't know, um, yeah, let's just use that, okay, so let's separate our inputs and our outputs, get our your a roll, our front your front roll and a rear roll. Oh, oh my goodness, that's a that's a mouthful. Okay, so the thing that we want to do with these, just give it a bit of space. So since we don't have any yaw that can go directly into a rotor like we normally do, we need to use the roll of our front and our rear rotors to control our roll and our yaw. 
So, if you think about it, when you place an eroder, generally, the roll, positive, goes to the right. Well, if we want to roll to the right, then we would have a positive input. And so we could just do that. And to our rear roll, we would have the same thing. Boom, there's the roll. However, we want to incorporate the yaw as well. So, to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to take our yaw input. I'm just going to do a simple add function. We'll get two of those. Fix that up. Input your roll into both of these. Next, what you're going to want to do is put your yaw into the first one. So, pretty much if this is positive, oh, sorry, if this is positive, then we want this to be rolling to the right, and we want this one to be going to the left, and the opposite is true. So, look, we're going to get a simple function block, and we're going to do minus x. Um, for those of you that just want a quick little tip, if you've noticed that there isn't a numerical inverter, as you can see, there is no numerical inverter um, or an inverter in general um, in the microcontroller editor. The easy way to do that is get a function block and just do minus x. Um, those of you that understand calculus, you'll, you'll get this, but yeah. Let's we'll just save this. Let's call this test tandem. Okay, let's search for this. Okay, so, so we got that in, and we'll get our your input, our roll, and what we're going to do now is we're just let's just pipe this up. So, I'm gonna put a pipe there, put a pipe there. Um, so obviously, take this. This will take a little bit of testing. Let's just get a large rotor. We got our large rotor there. Um, I'm just going to put a series of blocks. I'm going to see how close we can place this thing. Okay, so we need to actually. I'm just going to do this. Um, generally, with a tandem rotor, you have much longer helicopters um, for lifting greater weights yeah that's why this is a not the rotor system for a small helicopter there we go there we go well okay make sure that we have a neutral neutral then um, what we're going to do is we're going to get our rear roll, put it into our roll, front roll, let's put it into the roll, selective, that can come from our up and down, our pitch can come from our pitch, oh that's a bit of a texture bug, okay so, um, so let's let's try this. <laughs> okay, so put our jar on. Sorry. Man. Huh. Oh, it looks like we've got a visual bug here. But as you can see, we're flying, so let's just use um <laughs> Ah, uh, this, this is a horrible visual bug. Okay, so if we use our up-down, it works fine. If we pitch forward and back, it works fine. If we press D to roll, you can 
can see that we roll, press A to roll, we can roll fine. If we use our right arrow key, we yaw. If we use our left arrow key, we yaw. And we can use both at the same time to fly however we want. Whoa. Um. Don't know what's going on here. I have no idea what's going on here. But um. Oh. Well, anyway, guys. Um. <laughs> so that's how you make tandem helicopters. Um. Yeah. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.